let me record from my side let me share the screen okay fine so here right this is the setup right so tempdb configurations you can change it okay automatically number of tempdb data files and all will be pulled by the sql server installation center if you want to change the path you can change the path remove the old path and you can give the new path just by just selecting add you can give the you can select the new path and all that is the only change we are going to do remaining things and all it will be pulled automatically okay no need to do any changes for these things of course log file also for every database there are two files one is data file one is log file okay so this is data file setting this is log file setting right file stream usually will be used okay file stream will be used for the video content like youtube prime okay and netflix these are the video content related applications right so for video content related we are going to use file stream feature we are not going to store any video content data now so let me go next and that's it this is the final screen okay right so sql server or windows server don't understand the gui option okay sql server or windows server don't understand the gui option but we don't know what is the query to install sql server so this window will simply help you to create a query okay this is the query okay in the configuration file.ini you can see the file configuration file dot and ini you can see the query this is the query okay so this is the query what are what and all options we have choosed during the installation you can see all the options features service accounts okay tempdb data files tempdb configuration locations everything will be queried and once i click install okay sql server no, not sql server windows server will pull this file and it will start running the query inside this file okay and once i click on install once click once we click on the install button the installation will be started okay which will take 15 to 20 minutes guys so in the next class i'll show you okay once the installation is succeeded i'll show you how to connect to the sql server okay after this we have to install one more component called management studio management studio will be helpful okay to connect to the instances okay management studio is helpful why because even though you install sql server if there is no management studio you cannot connect so in the next class which is on monday okay you can see we are going to discuss about the management studio installation and i'll show you how to connect to the instances and that's it today is the last class okay there is no demo classes there is no more excuses don't wait some people will wait till monday morning 6 59 and they will confirm then don't wait till the last minute if you are interested please confirm by the end of the day today okay i am going to save the details and those who completed the payment will be connected from monday onwards okay right i gave you the lot of demos usually everyone will give you two or three classes but i guess this is the fifth class okay so seven and a half hours fifth class means more than seven and a half hours eight hours i gave eight hours of demo which is very huge so that's why there is no demo classes please confirm by today evening